In this video, we're going to take a look at how parts work in Twinmotion 2019. So I'm going to jump over here and click on parts. And with this part, we can choose to create parts for different stuff. For example, we can choose to create a part for a character. We can choose to create a part for a vehicle and also a part for a bike and maybe a, a custom part. So for example, I'm going to create two different parts. Uh, the first one is going to be for character, how that is done. If you click on the character, click on the pen, you can click and direct the character where you want it to go. So once you're done, you can right click and let it be. And automatically, it's going to spawn characters for you. And these characters are going to walk all the way to where you want them to walk. You can increase the width depending on what you want. So let's say we need multiple people working at the same time, maybe an airport or maybe people are going in for something. And you can also reduce the, uh, the width as well. You can also play with the density, increase the number of people you want to be spawned out at a given time. Because Twin Motion is real time. At any point in time, I can update uh, the part and automatically the characters or the avatars are going to automatically update alongside it too. So let's say you've drawn this the wrong way and you want to reverse it instead of them going forward, you want them to go to the other direction. You can turn reverse on and automatically they would reverse. Okay, so they would uh, reverse. You can also change the number of races that you want to have depending on what you're looking for. So let's say you can uh, add up a uh, Middle Eastern or you can take off the European, maybe take off the Asian and just have, depending on what you're going for, you can play with this how you want it to be. And other stuff that I would like to show uh, with the part two is the part two for vehicles. So I'm just going to quickly scroll all the way down and take out the pedestrian part so that we can look at the part two for vehicles. And before I do that, I would like to also take a time to put up a little bit of um, bumps on the road just to explain. Okay. So now that we have this ready, I'm just using this as bumps. I'm going to click here and define a vehicle part. So I need the vehicles to drive from here, pass through this, go all the way round. Let's do something like this and pass through this and come here. And you know, you can go uh, and you know, you can create a loop depending on where you want and off the shelf you would notice the reason I added this stuff. In Twin Motion, if you have if you have physics turned on, what happens is when the cars get to meet a bump, they go through the bump and physics is applied. So you can see that with a car coming through. Let's look at this. Okay. And because I put them in a loop. What happens is that, is that these cars are definitely going to be going through a uh, loop. I can increase, just like I can do with the pedestrian, I can increase the number of uh, people coming, I mean the number of cars that I have here. I can also increase the speed of the cars and I can also reduce the speed of the cars as well. This is very, very intuitive. Now I can also go all the way up and increase the number of lanes I want the cars to have and all of a sudden we have traffic okay cool so we can also play with the lane offset depending on what we're going for and let's offset this lane a little bit we can we can notice that the lane offset is happening here it's closing in and opening out it's happening there I think this is a bit too tight and if I Expand this. Okay. Hi, before you click the next video on the top right corner of the screen, if you like what you've just seen, click on the like button and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on notifications so that you get updates next time we upload a new video.